a gay mark of this production. Hi Marvel fans, it's Archivist here coming at you with a top 10 list. For a while I had been thinking about making a superhero list, but considering that LEGO Marvel Super Heroes is coming out, I thought I could make it a bit more relevant. So in this video I will be going through my favourite characters from the LEGO Marvel video game that have been shown so far. I will be judging them based on how interesting they are in the game, not how much I like them as Marvel characters overall. Also, as of me creating this video, I haven't been able to get a good look at every character. For that reason, you won't be seeing figures like Ghost Rider or Modok, simply because I can't fairly judge them. Number 10 Okay, so the first figure on the list is Doc Ock. While he was never one of my absolute favourite Marvel villains, I love how Traveller's Tales have animated him. The way he navigates the environment by walking on his tentacles looks excellent, and actually makes him quite imposing. Number 9 the Green Goblin is kind of the Joker of the Marvel world. Not only does insane billionaire Norman Osborn get a sweet glider to fly on, but he can also transform into the ultimate Spider-Man Big Fig, a great two-in-one character. Number 8 The Human Torch is in at 8 on the list, mostly because of the excellent fire effects that surround him as he flies. He is also quite a useful character, as his scorching flames can melt golden bricks. I also think that his cocky attitude will lend itself well to Traveller's Tale storytelling style. Number 7 Wolverine is here for two reasons. First off, I am really glad they gave him his original outfit. Second, the developers actually gave him an adamantium skeleton. This means that should Wolverine run out of health, rather than dying, his skeleton will be exposed. While it is tastefully done here, this is quite a gruesome concept for a game aimed at young kids, but you know, cool nonetheless. Number 6 Cult favourite come widespread hit, Deadpool even makes an appearance. While the developers say he won't have a massive role in the story, there will be special missions that are made just for him. Oh yeah, and he's also voiced by Nolan North, but then again, who isn't these days? Number 5 Normally I am not really a fan of Mr Fantastic, I just think his power is a bit bizarre. However, in this game Traveller's Tales have put a great deal of attention into getting the best out of Reed Richards. He could turn into a hammer, wrecking ball, or even a teapot. Number 4 The ever so popular Iron Man inevitably makes an appearance, and he looks to be one of the more useful characters. His abilities include flight, repulsive blast, missiles, ground slam, computer hacking, unibeam, and a laser wall cut. Personally, I love all the Iron Man suits, but the Mark VI is my favourite. Number 3 Partially here just because I don't want to piss him off, the Hulk looks to be an excellent addition to LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. He could transform back and forth from Bruce Banner and Hulk modes where appropriate, and he has some pretty great animations. There is also a chance he may be an invincible character like Superman from LEGO Batman 2, but this is not confirmed. Number 2 Stan Lee, the Where's Waldo of Marvel, features in this LEGO game with more superpowers than any other. He can Hulk out, shoot fire from his eyes, move things with his mind, and even websling. The only reason he is not number one is because by Traveller's Tale's own admission, he is an overpowered character. It's number one. Venom would have been on this list a week ago, but certainly not in first place. That was until I saw his transformation into Big Fig Venom, which looks pretty awesome, I have to say. As a fan of the Ultimate Spider-Man version of Venom, I'm really glad they made him a Big Fig, but the fact that he is a mini fig as well, with awesome tendrils I might add, is just the icing on the cake. Those are my personal top 10 characters to be looking forward to in the upcoming video game LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Be sure to let me know which figures you are most looking forward to in the comments. If you enjoy this sort of content, you may even like to subscribe to my channel. As always people, thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.